Hello guys, thank you for joining me for day four of our learning how to write and publish our book with Trisha Bray Smith. I am your instructor, Trisha Bray Smith, and I am delighted that you have chose to go through this process with me. This is day four, and I just want to remind you guys that I am pre-recording this class so that it gives you the flexibility to go through this class with me on demand with a schedule that works most beneficial for you. As you can see through the PowerPoints, I will be doing a live class here June 8th through 12th, 2020 from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. nightly. But I wanted to pre-record this curriculum to give you an opportunity to purchase this um, curriculum and go step by step at a pace that is most beneficial for you. So if you have not already completed the work and the requirements of the suggestions from day one through three, please stop this video and go back and make sure that you complete process uh, homework assignments that uh, were suggested for days one through three so that you're not so overwhelmed with the content that I am providing you through this uh, five-day uh, lesson, okay? So this is day four, which meaning I'm giving you homework assignments and suggestions for you to complete as we go through these recordings. And, but day four and five is all about um, having a completed uh, product and moving it to generate income for us. So now with day four and day five, I'm looking at uh, marketing strategies and uh, create more revenue from the product that you create. So some of you, if you have not completed your book or you haven't really gotten started uh, with the uh, committing to the process, I don't suggest you start day four until your book is completed, uploaded, and shown already on Amazon, okay? So that's my suggestion. Go through, finish the process, meet your deadlines for the goals that you have set for yourself to complete your uh, book, have it uploaded on KDP uh, publishing site. You've already uh, made your uh, book cover and you're ready to produce the product and get your product moving and selling, okay? Again, I want to share with you my contact information so that if you have questions up until this point, being that I am not on here live with you, you can send me an email uh, at ambrayism at yahoo.com or visit my website at www.entrishabraysmith.weebly.com use the contact tab and submit any questions that you have to that platform so that I can assist you uh, in any challenging areas that you have. All right, day four guys, let's dig in. Also as a reminder, I want to remind you that I am doing this uh, content from my home. So there may be time to time some background distractions or noise. So let's uh, be mindful of that. And if necessary, guys, this is on demand for you. Make sure you stop and play, stop and play as it is necessary for you to uh, produce the product and stay on task uh, as it works best for you. So for those of us that have, are already established authors and we're looking into moving and producing more revenue from our content, this is more geared toward uh, your products now at this time, okay? So how and where to sell 
uh, the completed product. So as I mentioned and as I showed you, when you use KDP Publishing, which is where we uh, learned in day three, when we use that, KDP Publishing does everything else for us. It automatically uploads our ebook and our paperback book to Amazon. All we have to do is go into our profiles and uh, make the necessary uh, changes excuse me, changes that we need or that we desire for our book. And once we save it in KDP Publishing in our profiles, it automat automatically shows the changes to Amazon. Okay, so if we wanted to run a book sale and we wanted to change the uh, price of our books, all we have to do is go into our profile, run that uh, special and uh, just go back and forth between our KDP publishing profile to make those necessary changes. It's going to show up in Amazon. Okay. Another thing that we can do is to share our links for our book on our social media pages, websites, and ads. So we know that social media is a big thing now. It is huge. And Facebook is one of the running contenders for the books and the services that I offer for my target audience. So one thing that I'm learning to do is to share the links to my books, to my social media page, my website, and also in the description of any ads that I may purchase from Facebook. So if you are already an established author, don't assume that we know you, okay? Don't assume that we know you have books available. So when you're on social media and you're connecting with uh, friends and uh, your potential audience, especially if you have like a blog or a podcast or you do lives or things like that in the descriptions when you're doing your lives or in the descriptions of your youtube uh, videos sometimes you ought to include the links guiding us to your books or to your products or to the services that you offer so this is another way to keep your product in our face so that uh, we can see what you have to offer. And we want to see it over and over again, okay? But we want to know also, not just putting the link there, but tell us a little bit about who you are or what product you have to offer and how it benefits us. So when you do that, what you're doing is you are estab establishing a relationship with your target audience and guiding us to your product. And you're guiding us to your product by sharing the link. So if you have a product on Amazon and I'm just going to, um, Go back to Amazon to show you how to share the link uh, to your book from Amazon. So I'll go to Amazon and I'm going to find one of my books. And it's easy to share the link. So uh, I'm here. I want to look at my uh, paperback book. I want to pull it up. This is my book, Time to Talk. So as I pull this up on Amazon, when I go here, if I copy that, all I have to do
is Comfy Vet Link. Go to my social media page, which for this I'm going to uh, Amazon, I mean to Facebook. And you see me looking up, it's because I have a monitor in front of me so that I could see the materials. Um, I want to say, go to say something like go to Amazon and get my book. Time to talk and see why readers say that they just can't put it down. Okay, so hopefully that gets um, the people that come across this post attention. And also, I make it easy for them. So I'm going to say, just click the link. Then right here is where I can come and paste that link in there. And also what that does for me is it's going to pull up a preview of that book. It's going to pull up a preview of that book. It'll show my book. And I click post it. And this is what it looks like when the people come across my page and see it. So it's telling them what to do. It's telling them to go to Amazon and get my book, Time to Talk which this is the book that uh, I put on there. Get that book, Time to Talk, and see why readers say they just can't put it down. So that's grabbing their attention. Now people want to know what's so um, good about this book that when they get it, they just can't put it down, okay? So that grabs uh, their attention, right? And so it's posted on my social media page. Now also, what some of you guys can do, especially for those that have, uh, maybe you don't have a large following like me. I don't have necessarily a uh, large following of people. So you may want to tag specific people that are uh, on your um, social media pages to make sure that they get the message. So you, uh, what you're doing is sharing the direct link to where your book can be found to your social media pages. And also you want to do this to your uh, website. You also may want to do this to your websites. Now, how I've done it to my website is I go to my website because uh, I build my own website. I use uh, Weebly. Uh, to build my website. This is what uh, my website uh, looks like. This is my landing page. So when people log on to my website, this is the first thing that they see. They see uh, a little snippet of who I am, a photo of me, tells um, a little bit of background about me, about my books. But also here, here on this uh, landing page, it tells people uh, a little bit about what other people are saying about me. And so that information is there. So either they're uh, choose to buy in and read on or not. But here on books and resources, when you click on that tab, you will see uh, my books here. And all people have to do if they're interested in my books from my website, is I've already shared the direct link to my book or books here from my website. So people just coming across my website or if I direct people to my website, uh, 
when they go to my books and resources, I make it easy by connecting my books directly to uh, Amazon to where they can make purchases of my books. Okay, so that, uh, especially when I'm going to like speaking engagements and things like that, and I'm sharing uh, my business cards and uh, people are able to go uh, to my website or they want to know a little bit more about me or where to follow me. I'm directing them uh, to my website and also from that website, they're able to get direct links to purchase uh, books and resources that I have available. Okay. Now, also, when your book is complete and listed on Amazon, which if you are an established author already, we already have books that are listed on Amazon. Let's consider also moving it to other markets to generate revenue. Because yes, it's good to have a ebook. And yes, it's good to have a paperback or a hardback book. But oftentimes what I found that established authors have done is they have neglected the population of people that are visually impaired that maybe they no longer can read the manuscript, but they are auditory and need a production of your book to where it is narrated. So I don't see a lot of already established authors putting their book in audio form. And so what that does is that you're limiting yourself from generating uh, income from your book. I find that when I put my book uh, recreating a better me in audio format, it generates more income for me than my paperback or my digital versions of my book. Okay. So what I want to do is to share with you those established authors, remember already established. And for those of you that have completed your book and you're ready to uh, put your book in into action for marketing is let's talk about how to produce a audiobook version for your book. Let's talk about how to put an audio version of your book for people who uh, may not necessarily pick up a book but can stream your book through audio. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to acx.com. This is what I use. Again, that's acx.com. And you will see that it's set up um, and tells you step by step of what you need to do. So if you don't already have an audio book, then you need to go in to create a profile. So for you already established authors that have a book or have a product already, and, and for those of you that have just completed your uh, book, your product, and you're ready to put it in audio and get it established, go in to acx.com and create a profile. From there, sorry about that, guys. You're going to follow the steps for producing your audio book. You in this platform is considered the author. Okay. Now, what ACX does, once you fill out your profile and your book is already on Amazon, ACX locates your book or books for those of you that have written several books. They locate your books from Amazon and they will say, is this your book? And all you have to do is click on 
the tab that says, this is my book and fill out the details. From there, you would just fill out the details as it relates to your book and open your book up for auditions. Okay. So when you get to this point to where uh, that you recognize that that's your book, you fill out the details uh, of that and you open the book up for auditions, all you want to do is copy and paste a short clip from your manuscript. So you're gonna copy and paste just uh, a short script from your manuscript, which is uh, the book that you're putting on audio. You're copying and pasting just a short clip. And I use the clip from my introductions because I don't want um, too much of the product uh, getting out there while I'm taking auditions. So I use just a short clip from my introduction, maybe a paragraph, just enough to give uh, me an opportunity to listen to the voice of those that are auditioning to uh, narrate my book. And I upload it for the audition strip. And like I said, it's just an introduction. And, and we've already all, all created already the introduction. So just a paragraph or two from that, upload it. That's your audition strip. So when narrators come in to, or producers, whatever they call, I think they call them producers in uh, ACX. When they come to audition for your product, that's the script that they use to audition for your product. And that is your introduction. You get to hear what it sounds like. So at the beginning of the book, when someone begins to uh, listen to your work, that's what you're gonna, that's the first thing that they're gonna hear. So I think it's the first thing that you need to hear to uh, hear the script from uh, what it's gonna sound like when someone purchases your audio product. So that, that's how you do that. So I'll, what I'll do is go in here and show you what ACX looks like. So I'm gonna show you what ACX looks like. So when you go to acx.com, this is what it looks like. And of course, I've already gotten a profile. So I'll log in here. And yours is not going to look like mine just yet because you don't have any, uh, you probably don't already have uh, work that's already uploaded in here. But uh, you can see that I have um, projects that are already completed here. Let's see if it'll pull up. you'll see the two that I already have in production that's already complete. I have one that's pending review and I have one that is in production that has not uh, been completed yet. Okay. So it just gives you an overview of what that looks like. Um, you can see here uh, titles that are looking for someone to narrate them. There are titles and you can filter. There's uh, almost 3,000 titles that um, are, are available there for someone to come in and narrate. But it just gives you a, and, and, and ACX does a good job of showing you step-by-step step of, um, how to put your book into uh, production as well, guys. So also you want to uh, make sure that you, 
you uh, understand uh, and, and read and go through the tutorials that ACX has for you so that uh, you can do the best you can at uh, answering those questions and finding the best uh, producer or narrator to help you with your product. Also, uh, when they uh, begin to audition for your book, um, you then get to decide the details of when you want this product completed. Okay, so you decide how you're going to pay them. Uh, what I do when I select a narrator or a producer for my audiobooks is I use uh, the royalty share. That means I select the price for my audio book and as my book sells, um, we split the royalties of my book between me and the narrator. So that means every month, uh, like you see, uh, 66 books sold every um, month. Whatever my sales are, half of that comes to me. The other half goes to my producer. So there's no upfront uh, money coming out of uh, my pockets. Uh, but as my book sells and I generate income, uh, also does the person who partnered with me in this uh, project. They're also generating a monthly uh, royalty from the books that sell and where they produce. Okay, so it's up to you. You can pay somebody up front. You can use the plan to where you're going to pay them uh, per hour to complete the book. So, say if you have a product that you're going to pay $50 an hour and you're going to pay them up front and it takes them uh, three or four hours to complete the book, you do the math and you pay them outright and you generate all the royalties from your book yourself. So that is up to you to decide. So what you're then going to do is you're going to upload, once you've selected the narrator you want for your book, you upload your entire manuscript uh, from your uh, flash drive. So, so your flash drive here, you upload your entire uh, manuscript so that um, they've agreed to do the project for you. You decide what day you want the first 15 minutes submitted to you and what day you want the entire project completed. And as um, they meet the deadlines, then you're able to uh, review and approve that finished product and ACX also put does all the work for you they're putting your book on amazon to show the audio version it's also available in audible it's also available on itunes and other platforms so your book is being out there it's being exposed and um, people are seeing your product so it's just a, a larger market for your product and uh potentially more revenue for the books that uh, you have created. So Amazon only lists your products so that customers can purchase your books. And so that's what you need to understand, especially those authors that are already established. All Amazon does is uh, print your book and um, we're using their printing services and getting a book out there. Amazon doesn't do any marketing for us in our book. Our book is just housed there so that it's available for people that we send there to make purchase, okay? KDP does have uh, marketing strategies within our profile that we can run campaigns or ads and stuff around, uh, but those you do have to purchase. So with uh, social media and the uh, audience that we're um, building up from our platforms. Uh, I think that if we do the work, if you do the work, you shouldn't have to purchase uh, any of the marketing strategies.
from uh, KDP, but you're more than welcome to do that, but I don't believe that it is necessary. ACX offers links that you can distribute your book from, and that is boosting uh, the sales of your book while you also get a few rewards um, from using that link to boost uh, your book on your social media platform. So that also goes with just sharing those links to your social media pages. Uh, your product, uh, once you go through all these steps, will be found on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. So KDP lets you buy author copies at a reduced rate. So in your KDP publishing uh, profile, uh, you can purchase your books and have supplies of your books uh, on hand from home so that you can sell and distribute uh, when you are in your community or when you go places to uh, do speaking engagements and things of that sort. You can have copies of your book on hand, which is what I have here. Uh, and you buy these uh, books at a discounted price. So say if your books are $10, you can purchase it from your profile, your author copies uh, from your profile for about $2 and some change from your KDP profile and uh, have uh, any uh, number of, uh, of quantities that you want. And you can have those on hand and then sell these from uh, ten dollars from uh wherever you go if you want to have copies of your books with you so you can order those and distribute that's another way to get people excited about your book is that when you're talking about your book and you're out in the community and you have a copy of your book on hand ten bucks there you go the exchange is made and there you just made uh, some sales and profits how can you get your book in a bookstore? Okay, so this is what I also find is that many of us independently uh, published authors, we don't already have our books in the bookstores. So the way you do that is that most bookstores, and I'm talking about the independent or mom and pop bookstores, and sometimes even Barnes and Nobles and some of those have a process. They will have a process that you will have to go to to get your books in the bookstores. So to get your books in the bookstores, here's the steps that you need to take. And it's a simple process. And um, all it takes is that you commit to the process and to do it, okay? You are going to write a letter stating your interest in putting your product on their shelf. So what it is, you're writing a letter with maybe a, a cover head or a letter head and introducing yourself, who you are and um, what your book is. So. I am in Trisha Bray Smith. I am three times author of such and such and such and such of books. I am interested in putting my books on your shelf uh, because, uh, and then it just goes back to your notes to where, uh, what problems your books solve or what audience is interested in your particular book. And you do the rundown of why you, would like your book on their shelf. But remember, it's not about you. You're solving the problem for the readers or for the people that come into their bookstore, okay? So now, once you finish that letter, you're gonna also include in that, uh, okay, it's, it's down there at the bottom. So what you also wanna do is grab at least uh, three copies of your book. So three copies of the book that you want on the shelf, at least three. So if at least three and it costs you uh, $2 and some change for each book, you, you don't have a 
a big overhead, okay? So, but I, I suggest sending at least five to seven copies, okay? It just depends on how bad um, you want it on the shelf or, um, you know, what you can afford to uh, dist distribute or give, it, give away. Uh, because one copy of the book is for the owners of that bookstore so that uh, they can have a copy to read. Okay, because they're going to want to read uh, your product before they make the decision to put it on their shelf. So if you only send one copy, then your book is not going on the shelf because the owner of that uh, bookstore is going to have that copy. So that's why I suggest sending a minimum of three, but I also suggest sending five to seven. Okay, so send it along with your letter. In that letter include the details about your book, the target audience, and how their bookstore customers benefit from your product, and the details uh, they need to know or in order to purchase more copies of your book from, uh, for their bookstore, along with your contact information. That means if they're going if you want them to purchase more of your books for their bookstore or they're going to do business directly with you so are you going to purchase the books and have them on hand so that when that bookstore owner uh contacts you and they said we want 25 copies of your book and what deal are you making with that bookstore uh, are you going to sell it uh for five dollars a book or seven dollars a book you need to have all those details in your uh, letter so that when they purchase the book from you for uh, say seven dollars a book each book that they sell they're going to be making three dollars the bookstore is going to uh, make three dollars off of every copy of the book that uh, they sell okay so what those additional books do is allow the owner of that bookstore to see whether or not your book is going to sell at no risk to them. So if I send five to seven copies of my book and my book begins to catch the eyes of their customers and the customers begin to buy that book, if all five or seven copies of my book sells, then that lets that bookstore owner know that I'm worth taking that risk of getting more books and that the people are wanting what I have. Okay, so this is what it takes. Don't assume that the bookstores know you just because you have a book or a product out there. Write the letter, send copies of the book, give that bookstore owner the information they need to get more copies of your book and whatever deal you're making with them so that both of you together it's a partnership that they too can make money off of uh, the product okay so what i'll do is i'll purchase uh, 50 books from my kd profile my author copies so i'm spending a uh, hundred and something dollars maybe to get my books here and when that bookstore uh, owner contacts me and we've made an agreement that I'm going to sell uh, copies at five dollars a piece to them so they want 20 books so I send them 20 books I make money off of five dollars a copy that's a uh, hundred dollars they send me hundred dollars I'm sending them uh, 20 books at $5 each and uh, they're selling them at $10. So then they uh, sell the books and they're making money. I'm still generating income and it's a win-win situation for uh, all of us. Because if somebody purchased my book at the end of the book, if they get it and they read it, uh, it's directing them to my website it's directing them to other products that I have, and it's directing them to my social media links. So again, that information is getting out there, it's circulating, it's getting into the households and the hands of the people that 
I am targeting. So your homework for tonight is to start and complete chapter three of your book. If you haven't already done that, because some of you are still a work in progress and you're moving on to day four, this is on demand, you can pick and choose. Follow the same formats and suggestions as noted in the previous lessons. Okay, and you want to work on your marketing ladder for submitting your product to bookstores. Because look, we're looking at moving your product into areas to where it can generate more income for you. So for those of you that are already established authors, you want to begin to work on your marketing ladder for submitting it to uh, bookstores. So you also want to make sure that you have the number of copies that you want to send with it. And we want you also uh, to read and research content for creating your audio book on acx.com. So you should be ready to move into these steps, start expanding ideas and seeing how we can get the product that we are producing to maximize our revenue from those products. So I hope that you've enjoyed day four. I know that it is a lot to comprehend, but guys also don't forget the tools and resources that are offered through you through YouTube. It is going to be valuable for you. And uh, that is a way that you can continue to uh, generate income. from uh, let's see there we go so generate more income and keep our product moving so that uh it can uh, work best for us throughout the market okay all right i appreciate you joining me for day four stay tuned for day five uh for learning how to write and publish your book with interest your base smith don't forget uh, that email address is ambrasm at yahoo.com and also my website at www.trishabraysmith.weebly.com for you to submit any questions that you have up until this point i'll see you again right here for day five